at the loo, about to take something off it. Um, it's always exciting, I don't know why it's exciting, but you know, I find it exciting. You're probably bored with it, right? So, um, yes, I'm about to cut this off, um, and I've got um, the lady wants a particular length of fringe, so I'm going to probably cut it right back to here, um, simply because I've got double the amount of what she wants for fringe anyway, so um, I've got to allow for um, shrinkage and things like that as well. This is actually quite a long um, shawl, this is, the moment is well, a good way over two metres, uh, again because she wanted a particular length um, and it's over a metre wide, um, about one, 110. It's that I've had to do the full width of the reed to do this. I can't go any wider than this without going into double width width, um, which I didn't want to do with this. So, um, yep, yeah, um, this fingers crossed that by the time uh, we shrunk, it's going to be the meter she'd like. Um, I think it will be, I, you know, I can't really see why not. Uh, but of course, with any of these things, you're talking natural fibres, they all act slightly differently anyway, um, so you can't, you know, say it's going to you know, shrink by exactly so much each time. Um, so, no, this is, this is lovely. Um, so here we go, so, yeah, cut it off then. My trusty scissors, I'm going to run along here, like this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take these out because it's just going to be easier. These were just there so I could do the um, hem stitching. had a couple of uh, walks break on this, this edge, but that sorted it out, and along here you won't want to see me do that and then we've got the uh, the full thing there so the great thing is I always get the first chance of trying things off so here we go so at the moment obviously it's going to shrink a bit hopefully not too much um, so yeah so it's just over two meters I've just measured it's about two 2.2 meters um, so that's that's a nice lot of um, room for manoeuvring I've got on that um, on there, and it's just coming up to one meter nine. So that's hopefully it's going to be enough. And uh, he's a big bloke. It certainly drowned me. So. Today, but um, truly, so let's 
see how it washes. Next step, wet finishing. So this is always the worrying bit. Uh, this is the wet finishing. Um, so what I've got here is I've put the whole cloak in, um, this is mildly warm, I'd say hand hot really. Um, I really sometimes would do it a little bit hotter, uh, but because I don't want this to shrink too much, this is um, going to be steeping in here for about 15, 20 minutes. I don't want to agitate it too much either, because it could felt. Um, so it's, it's, yeah, it's a delicate point at this point. So um, what I'm trying to do is actually get the oils, because this was actually, I've woven with wool in oil. Um, this is the spinning oil that they use. Um, so it needs to come out anyway which is why it's looking so milky. Um, this is the second wash. The first one, um, I had no suds at all, and this one did have until I started filming and they've all gone. Um, and then I'm going to rinse it, and then I will um, roll it in a towel uh, to get most of the moisture out, um, and then possibly hang it up outside, because it's a nice day, so it would be quite good to do that. Otherwise, it ends up over my banisters. It's about the only place you can go. Um, so that's that's it. This is wet finishing. So this is not the very exciting bit, but you can have a look at it. Here we go. We've got a uh, basically a um, cloak roll here, a bit like a Swiss roll, but with the cloak in it. So it's just wrapped up in layers. It's nicely um, wet. This will take the excess moisture out and I can safely squeeze it to get even more out before I hang it. But we don't want it dripping because what it will do is then stretch in the wrong places. So um, I want to get as much moisture out as possible so it's not actually dripping itself, ready to hang. So that's my next steps, going outside and hanging it up. I think, just come out here to, and I think, at the end of the garden there, there's a henna. Yes, there he goes. Thank you.